The first T7A, part of an initial lot of pre-production engineering and manufacturing development EMD, aircraft to be used for testing and design validation purposes, has taken to the skies for the first time. Boeing announced that it had completed taxi tests for its five newly built T7A Red Hawk trainer jets. They're currently located at Lambert Field in St. Louis, Missouri. Its flight marks the beginning of the T-7's final development phase before Boeing starts producing military-ready jets. Red Hawks will replace the Air Force's six-decade-old P-38 Talon trainers as the main platform that prepares American and foreign pilots to fly fighter and bomber aircraft. Boeing and the Air Force have both confirmed the T-7's first flight had taken place earlier in a tweet this afternoon. The plan, as it has been previously reported, will see the jet eventually head to Edwards Air Force Base in California for further testing. In a press release, Boeing's chief test pilot, Steve Schmidt, stated that the flight controls and commands to the fly-by-wire system were crisp and the aircraft maneuvered exceptionally well. Everything operated as designed and expected. As the first Air Force training jet designed in the 21st century, the T-7 offers students a digital cockpit, more realistic simulators and software that could be updated as real-world threats evolve. <laughs> Boeing's T-7 is based on a clean sheet designed and developed for the TX competition, which sought to find a replacement for its more than 400 Nortrop P-38 Talon supersonic jet trainers. This over 60-year-old design is served well, but is running long in the tube and lacks the avionics to enable trainees to practice new capabilities widely used on Air Force jets. The new jet trainer would also come with high-tech simulators that would further reduce training costs. The first flight is an important step forward in the T-7A's development process, and reaching this stage is perhaps particularly important given how behind schedule the Red Hawk is currently. In 2018, the Air Force chose what is now known as the T-7A, a design Boeing crafted in cooperation with Swedish playmaker Saab as the winner of its TX trainer competition. Since 2016, Boeing has been doing actual flight testing in support of this program, but using demonstrator aircraft, seen in the video below, that are not fully production repetitive. The airframe that flew Wednesday is one of five test aircraft that will be delivered to the Air Force before it starts receiving fully finished jets at its schoolhouses. The Air Force plans to buy 351 Red Hawks starting in December 2025 under a $9.2 billion contract awarded in 2018. In its new statement, Boeing also highlighted the T-7 of program's digital design features, claiming that these features allow the program to get from a firm concept to an actual flight test in 36 months. This is especially noteworthy as the T-7 has long been projected as a model for the advantages of digital engineering and design technologies. For the Red Hawks, using digital design approaches has already resulted in an 80% reduction in assembly time, enabling the production of more planes in lesser time. The Red Hawks' development process was quicker than comparable land-based vehicles, taking less than three years from the concept stage to the first flight. The T-7A is powered by a single GEF 404 turbofan engine, which produces about 17,200 pounds of thrust. Twin tails, slats, and large leading edge root extensions LERX, allow for low speed handling and agility, making T-7A's performance similar to the USA S-16, but at a much lower operating and acquisition cost. Once in service, the T-7A's open architecture software will make it very adaptable to its predecessors to incorporate new capabilities and training elements to keep pace with the broader modernization of the Air Force. Additionally, the T-7A, due to its small size, can be very difficult to spot during within visual range fights. The Red Hawk builds off the legacy of the Tuskegee Airmen, paying tribute to the legends of the past and the heroes of the future. Boeing's T-7A Red Hawk was purpose-built to include provisions for growth, improve supportability, and innovate a maintenance-friendly design. The aircraft was built with digital engineering processes, agile software development, and an open architecture mission system to enable more rapid, affordable future aircraft development. These modern, computer-driven manufacturing techniques serve as an enabler for the U.S. Air Force's Digital Century Series strategy, while additionally increasing the supply-based choices. Ground-based training systems, GBTS, encompassing a full range of physical devices and instructional techniques, 
will prepare students for and supplement training conducted in the T7A. The aircraft is a flexible, modifiable solution that adapts easily to people, software, and systems, so future technologies can be easily implemented. Pilots can adjust to their personal preferences, and the entire system can be applied to other missions. By adapting to changing technologies and learning methods, and by downloading more expensive training, the T-7A produces better prepared pilots in less time. The T-7A's design includes provisions for growth as requirements evolve for additional missions, such as an aggressor, light attack slash fighter variant. The T-7A's purpose-built digital approach and immersive development techniques validated supportability issues and innovated a maintenance-friendly design throughout, increasing availability and lowering sustainment costs. Additionally, common subsystems with 4th and 5th gen fighters allows the use of existing maintenance infrastructure, further lowering life cycle costs. The Red Hawk's fighter-like design and performance, combined with embedded and lid virtual constructive training, allows the download of training tasks from the existing fleet to a lesser cost platform while simultaneously delivering realistic training solutions that better prepare pilots for the training mission. With key maintenance features that greatly improve mean time to repair, including high wing easy access doors and quick release panels, the T7N is an affordable, reliable solution.